So welcome to the 2022 lawn season. I know that here it is definitely still winter, but some of you down south have the luxury of actually being able to go outside and enjoy some weather. So we're gonna live vicariously through you for a while. So today I wanna go through some of the most common questions or direct messages that I've been seeing recently. And in the early spring here, go through some of those topics while I really can't get outside and do a whole lot. So the first one today is talking about, can you level your lawn in the spring? The short answer to this is yes, depending on your grass type, but let's go over a couple more of the details. So why would you wanna level your lawn in the first place? Well, one, it's a lot more enjoyable to mow. If you're going to real mow and you wanna cut the grass really short, it's important that it's gonna be smooth and that you're not bouncing the mower around all the time. And two, it just has a much better look to it. When you have a really nice smooth lawn, you can definitely tell that work has been done to it and it definitely does stand out. So again, it's much more enjoyable if you are going to real mow your lawn short. If you have four inch tall fescue or four inch St. Augustine, you're probably not going to notice as much of the differences and it's not as important for super tall grass. So leveling should be done when your grass is actively growing. So for cool season lawns, that would be spring and fall, with fall being probably the best option. For warm season grasses, you're gonna wanna wait until about early summer or midsummer at the latest to get your leveling work done. That's when your grasses are going to be growing most actively during that summer period. A couple tips here from over the years that I've learned from experience is make sure that your grass is cut short enough to do the leveling work. If you're cutting your grass a lot taller, it's going to be very difficult to spread out this material smoothly without smothering the lawn that's there. If you do happen to have access to a top dresser, maybe you can rent one in the area. These are a little more forgiving because they do spread things pretty evenly, even over somewhat taller grass, but I would definitely still recommend that you cut your grass short if possible to do the best job of leveling. A couple things that I've learned over time that work really well is that you can either spread the material with a shovel and kind of use a flick of the wrist motion here to spread things out evenly, or you can put it out in piles. Make sure that you do use a garden rake or a landscape rake of some kind to spread out those piles, make sure the material is dry. Then you can come over it with your leveling tool, just gliding over the surface. You're gonna have a lot better luck with that and what that leveling tool can do to really smooth out the lawn. One of the other questions when it comes to leveling is do you need to overseed your lawn? So overseeding is simply the process of putting more seed back on top of an existing lawn, either to introduce some new stuff or when leveling, sometimes you get some areas where you need to add a decent amount of material and some of the grass may get slightly smothered. What happens when the existing lawn gets smothered is that the sunlight has a difficult time getting to those leaves. So definitely keep that in mind. You can use a broom, kind of brush in the material and make sure that those grass blades stick back up and can see the sunlight. But if you have some areas that are really low and they get a little bit smothered, you can add some seed on top of this. That would be more for a cool season lawn. If you have a warm season lawn like Bermuda, it's gonna be pretty aggressive in repairing itself. You can kind of bury those a little bit more than you can cool season lawns, but I still would recommend trying to make sure that most of the grass blades are showing if possible. You're gonna have great results if you do your best to broom things in and get those grass blades showing again. The great debate between soil versus sand for leveling. For the first couple years that I leveled my lawn and really transformed my front lawn, I was simply using a native topsoil. That's something very similar to what my lawn already had, and you can overseed into it really well with great results too. What I would recommend for beginners if you're just doing a first leveling process is probably find something similar to the native soil that you have. This is gonna be easier, and if you do have to do an overseed or fix some areas, it's gonna be a little more forgiving than sand would be. Now, if you have a pretty smooth lawn already and you don't need to do anything drastic, this is where the sand leveling comes in for more advanced users. If you wanna dive deeper into this topic, I do have a couple videos. I will link one below that goes into much more detail on sand versus soil. So what about your spring pre-emergent and how this might play into things? A couple things to remember is that anytime you introduce a new material into your lawn, there's a possibility there might be weed seeds in that material. It might be something that you don't have in your lawn currently. So make sure that you understand that. If you plan on overseeding, also remember that that's going to prevent grass seed from growing as well. So if you are thinking you're going to need some seed in any areas, make sure you don't have pre-emergent down or it will prevent that from growing. The other thing about leveling projects is I think everybody wants to get into this right away, but I would say if you have a lawn that had a lot of weeds in it last year, maybe it's been kind of taken over by crabgrass, I would definitely recommend this season getting a pre-emergent down, taking care of some of those weeds with post-emergent sprays. Get your 
your lawn under control with proper fertilization, proper irrigation, and focus on that this year. I think you'll be a lot happier if you get those things in order. And then maybe next year you can look at this leveling project. But for most beginners, I would say make sure that you have your lawn in order. You understand kind of the basics of everything before you go into a leveling project like this. If you already have a ton of weeds that you're going to have to deal with. After this, it's a good idea to make sure you maintain your watering, especially if you have seed down, you're gonna need to maintain that water and make sure that seed doesn't dry out. If you're not getting any rain, that would mean supplementing some irrigation in there, especially if you have seed. But either way, working that material down with some water is going to be beneficial. A dose of fertilizer would also be a good idea to get that grass actively growing again. And it's gonna be amazing how quickly this lawn recovers after your leveling project. So the quick answer is yes, you can level your lawn in the spring with a cool season lawn. That should be done in the summer if you have a warm season lawn. But if you have any more questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time.